Hi, this is Steve with Rogue Spin Graphics. Today we're going to uh, go through painting a body step by step uh, from start to finish here. Uh, we're going to be using one of our uh, Proline bodies for the slash today. Uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, clean it. Uh, a lot of the bodies when they release uh, the, from the mold have a little bit of mold residue left on them which makes the paint not stick well to the Lexan. So uh, there's a lot of different techniques out there. I personally like to use a denatured alcohol to clean the body. I feel it does the best job of getting all the mold release off. Uh, some people will use uh, liquid soap. I feel that leaves a little bit of residue uh, for the paint to not adhere to. So I like to use a denatured alcohol. So we'll get started with that first. Okay, so here we've got our denatured alcohol. I'm going to pour just a little bit here into the body and we'll uh, just kind of slosh it around through the body, get it a little, a little everywhere there. And then I use the uh, shop rags, as they're a little softer than your average paper towel. Uh, you can pick these up at most automotive stores, uh, places like Costco is a great place to get them. And uh, we just wipe the body down real good, making sure we get all of the body. Once I get the inside all done and dry, I usually will also wipe the outside of the body. That way it doesn't look like, uh, as we're painting, that we've missed anything. We make sure that we get the body uh, nice and clean here. So remove all fingerprints. If you have been touching the body a lot, uh, you can end up uh, leaving some fingerprints inside. Okay, now that the body's all clean, it's time to lay out uh, the window masks, also uh, headlights, front grill, anything else that, uh, that you might be doing. Uh, um, a lot of the bodies come with their own masks. I personally uh, cut my own with my vinyl cutter. Uh, that way I can do uh, window trim outlines and stuff like that. So to uh, start laying them out, what I use is just good old 3M uh, blue tape, uh, blue painter's tape. This is also great for masking on the inside of the body too. Uh, gives you fairly clean lines and uh, good coverage without a, a big expense. So. so what we're going to do here is lay out, uh, lay out our blue tape across the window here. Uh, slowly start to uh, put it down, making sure that we uh, fit all the uh, nooks and crannies here. This uh, window happens to be indented uh, a fair amount, so we want to make sure that we, uh, we capture all those lines when we go to uh, draw it out on our computer. So what I'm doing here is I'm pressing in with my, uh, with my fingernails, it's called burnishing. Um, it's a good technique for making sure you get the mask uh, laid down uh, well. We'll take our uh, Sharpie pin here and we will draw out the window. Shortly hereafter we'll go take it and scan it into our computer into uh, Photoshop and then bring it over into Adobe Illustrator to, uh, to produce the mask. So there's the front window and we'll do the sides exactly the same. One trick I like to use when I'm doing the front headlights and grill etc is uh, when you go and lay down the masking tape over the top to mark it, a lot of times it's very hard to see the lines because the lines are just not deep enough. So what I'll actually do here is I will draw out, I'll trace around the actual headlight lines here with my Sharpie pen before laying the tape down. Once I lay the tape over it, I'll be able to see the dark black lines through the tape, which make it a lot easier to, uh, to mark with. So now that we've got our, our black lines drawn out, we'll lay our blue tape once again over the top of it, making sure that we, uh, we get it burnished in fairly well here. Now you can see the, uh, the black lines through the tape and we can uh, draw that out so we can bring it into uh, our program for uh, cutting. Just go ahead and trace that out here. 
One nice thing is when you're uh, doing like headlights or windows from side to side, a lot of times I'll just draw out one, uh, copy, paste, and flip it to the other side because they should be should be fairly equal if the uh, manufacturer has done their job well. Uh, headlights and windows will be equal from uh, from side to side of the body. Uh, of course, depending on the design of the body.